All right, everyone, welcome back to another lesson. And this lesson is called using a variable to describe patterns. We're going to start using something called a variable and variables are, you know, these objects are actually letters that we're going to, you're going to see in math pretty much all the way through high school. So this is kind of a good way to introduce them and how you're going to see them a lot. So we might as well get used to them there. And uh, let's just get started here. So I have a pattern going with this dot paper and there's line segments and you can see that figure one figure two figure three four and five and i i drew a table out here and it shows each figure number and the number of dots on the figure so in figure one right here there's two dots one dot there one dot there that are connected by that line so here's figure one right here so this is connected it's connecting the table to the drawing and remember there's two dots and there's a reason why that one is red it's one plus something let's let's see if we notice a pattern with that figure two it's this guy here there's three dots and i have that here and then figure three there's four total dots well if you haven't noticed i have the figure number in red on purpose because there seems to be a pattern here where the figure number plus one always seems to happen which gives us the answer so i put this table back out so you can see it easily and so we can write each number of dots as this sum and i'm going to remind you what a sum is again the sum is the answer when we add so the pattern is the figure number plus one we can use a letter such as the letter f to represent any figure number and I chose F. Now, when you get to variables, sometimes you get to choose what letter to use, sometimes you don't. But in this case, we can choose the letter. And I just chose F because it stood, I thought it could stand for figure. Okay. And we always write it in italics. If you don't notice, what, um, it's kind of slanty. Okay. We usually write uh, our variables in italics just so they stand out a little bit easier against numbers, especially like L. Um, you'll always see L done like this in kind of a handwriting motion because it looks very similar to a one, doesn't it? If you didn't. Okay, well, this letter F is called a variable. Then, so the number of dots on its figure F, like, and figure F is any variable, any figure, okay, is F plus one. So what we're saying here is it's an expression that represents the pattern of the number of dots. So I can substitute any of these figure numbers, any of these figure numbers, and even ones we have not created yet. And I should be able to use that to find the answer for the number of dots. So we can always check if our expressions are correct. That's a good thing to do in math, okay? If you're using variables, double check your work. So for the number of dots in the sixth figure, which we didn't draw, okay, we can replace F with six. Okay, so we would say F plus one is kind of what's going on. And I'll remind you again, we are noticing a pattern that the figure number seems to be going up by one each time. Okay, so I could just put in six. So remember it's F plus one. And so I can substitute the figure six right here. And if we add one, the number of dots would be seven. So this answer here would be seven. And so here is figure six, and I have the F plus one to remind us. Okay, let's count the number of dots. Is there seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Double checked our work twice there. Okay, it's a good idea. Now we can use a variable to write a pattern rule. And if I look at this pattern, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, um, we could say it's going up one more in the previous term. We could say start at seven, add one each time but we can look for a way to relate the value of its term to its position in the pattern. So here I got the term position. When I say term position, this is the first term, the second term, the pattern, third, fourth, fifth. We have five terms in that pattern and they're going up by one each time, okay? So we could use the letter N. I don't know, N comes up a lot in math uh, for number. We could just say N is gonna represent anything. So that could represent this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, or this guy, or any number we have not, any number we haven't thought of yet to figure out what is the, the value, okay? So an expression for the pattern rule is N plus six. If you notice here, 
the term number plus six. The first term numbers here, if we add six, we get that seven. That was right here, okay? We have the second term. If we add that same six again, it's eight. Hey, that's the, that's the next term, okay? So we could say any term plus six is going to give us the term value. So to double check our fifth term, we can say n plus six, okay? n plus six is what seems to be happening. And let's substitute five for that n, because remember, n can represent anything in this column, anything, okay? This is n, the n column. And we want to know what would show up here, okay? So does this truly work for 11? Well, the fifth term plus six is 11. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, that is 11, okay? So this expression matches what is happening in the table. I'm gonna get you to try this one. I'd like you to complete the table and write an expression to represent the pattern in the number of squares. I'm gonna get you to pause here, do a scrap piece of paper. You don't need to draw anything out. I just want you to fill in this table and get an expression. All right, well, the first thing we can do is we can enter the figure number. So one, two, three, four, five. There is figure one, figure two, figure three, four, five. In figure one, I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six squares, okay? In figure two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven squares. In figure three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight squares. I wonder if there's a pattern going on here. Figure four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine squares. Well, it seems to be going up by one here, so let's double check. Will the next one be 10? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, now let's try and figure out how the term number fits in with this. Okay, so the first, here's the term number, and I need to get to six. In order to get to six from the first term, I'd have to add five. Let's see for the next one. I'm gonna add that term number or the figure number and I'm going to have to add five to get to seven again. And so the third one here, I'm gonna write it in and to order to get to eight, I'm gonna have to add five. Wow, this seems to be happening a lot. I'm gonna add that figure number four. I'm gonna have to add five. And the last one, I'm gonna add the finger number and again, five. So there seems to be a pattern where it's the term number or the figure number, and those two words are interchangeable, okay, is itself plus five. So let's make an expression. Um, let's use n just because we can, okay? n plus five is the way to describe how we can figure out the connection between these two. So if I wanted to say, what is the 10th term? You know, if we keep going, what would end up here? I could put in, 10, that's representing the n there, plus five, and the answer would be 15. Get you to try another one here. This time there's no pictures, there's just a pattern in a line, and we have terms uh, of the pattern. So I'd like you to write a variable to describe the pattern rule for this number pattern. So I'm gonna get you to pause here, consider this, and move on. All right. If you haven't done this yet, it is handy to do a chart, a table. So the term num, this we'll say the term meets the value. Okay. So this is the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. We have six terms in that pattern. So the first term, the value was 10. The second term, the value was 11. The third term, it was 12. The fourth term, 13. Fifth term. 14, the sixth term is 15, okay? So remember what we were doing, we were adding the term place to it, see how we got it there. So that's the first term. In order to get to 10, I would have to add nine. So I'm gonna add that second term in there. Okay, that's this guy here. And in order to get to 11, I'm gonna have to add nine. And for this guy here, I'm put the term number, to get to 12, I'm gonna to have to add nine. And you're gonna notice that you're gonna to have to add nine each time. So the expression or the variable we could write, let's, what do you wanna use, t? Let's use t, okay? And there's the italic t. t plus nine will help us find the value, okay? 
So what would be the hundredth term? If we, and I don't want you to do this, you could keep going seven, eight, nine, ten, blah, 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 all the way to a hundred. But what would be the, the number in that, on that side and what that column of the table? So I'm gonna get you to pause it again. Think about this. What can we do to find the answer? Well, what we need to do is we're gonna substitute the number 100 for the T. And the, power, the, the rule continues, plus nine. So 100 plus nine is 109. That didn't come out very well. So the answer here, the hundredth term, it would be 109. So what we did there is we took some counters or some, some graph, you know, some picture patterns and we had tables going with them. We also took uh, a list pattern with numbers. And what we're doing with both of these is we're using variables and expressions in order to find the answer. Because like I just did with this example here, if, we, if I asked you what the hundredth term would be, that would take a long time to write out that table. You'd probably use a ton of paper when we could just find out, hey, what's happening on this side, right? What's going on over here? Well, it seems to be the term number plus nine each time. And if we do that, we can substitute the term that we want to know and plug it in to where the T is and we get, and it spits out this answer right there. So this does come up in life. So I just want to remember in life, math happens. Take care guys.